So on today's episode, we have a very special guest. My mom! Hello! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and like I said in the intro today, I am joined by my mom! So say hello to Miss McKeg, everyone. Hello. <laughs> so today, um, I know that you guys have been wanting me to do a style challenge, and my parents really enjoyed the style challenge, so I thought I'd offer and be like, what if I drew you guys as your favorite cartoon style? So mom, what are a couple of your favorite cartoons just in general? Oh, let me think. So Scooby-Doo, Rugrats, Jetsons, Flintstones, Tasmanian Devil. Yeah. Um, just a lot. Just a lot. Yeah, a so, lot of different ones. Yes. Yeah, because I grew up on cartoons. Like, I was a crazy cartoon fanatic. So anything I watched, my parents watched with me. Um, but including those, my mom also sent me a list of a bunch of different cartoons that she really enjoyed. So I'm going to go ahead and take her and transform her into nine different cartoon styles. Yeah, so that's exciting. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and do that, but while I'm drawing, we're gonna actually answer a couple of questions uh -oh. that you guys are asking my mom and I. So we'll jump into that right now. All right, mom, so I had a couple of different people in the community send me a bunch of different questions to ask you about me or about you or about both of us. So let's go ahead and jump into a couple. Let's start with the YouTube ones. Uh, so let's first start with Tristan who asked, how was it dealing with her incredible imagination and love of dragons and art? Wow, Tristan. So I am also an artist. So having a daughter that has such an imagination was a gift. And her loving dragons, well, I don't know too much about dragons. <laughs> <laughs> so I spent a lot of time taking her to the library. And then she would pick out the books that she gravitated towards and I just let her be and let her create and I just um, looked online for books. Like I said, we went to the library, um, we looked on the computer and uh, yeah, I, I didn't influence her very much in that area. <laughs> yeah, well, I went a little on my own for that one. Um, next up, we'll get the question from Tyler. Um, what is your mom's favorite picture that I drew? Oh, wow. I really <laughs> like the self-portrait you drew when we went to this, like, mom and... Me. Oh, is that the one where you fixed the nose for me? Yeah. Yeah, so that one was like, we did, the, I think there was an art contest at my school in elementary, and I think I drew myself, but I couldn't draw the nose, so it was like this really cartoony face, and then the nose was perfect, and I think you did the ears. I don't remember, but I just, I love that, and, and still today I love it when you um, characterize yourself. Yeah, I know you really like the 20 style challenge. That one was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, next up from Lady Lati, uh, can you tell a funny story from her childhood? Oh, wow, let me think. There are so <laughs> many, it's Great. crazy. Great. Okay, so the one thing that really stands out is when she was little, we would uh, draw with sidewalk chalk outside on on our on our driveway, and she drew an image upside down. Like if she were to write a word, she would draw that word upside down, and that was just over the top, <laughs> so different. Because I was an elementary teacher, and I never saw that, and so that not funny as in laughable but it was just so different and i knew then what artistic talent she must have at such a young age i completely lost that talent now because i can't i can't write upside down anymore but it was a weird weird skill for me to have for sure uh next from dnd &D, when did caitlin start to show a passion for art oh right from the beginning right when she could hold a crayon yeah, I was drawing for a really long time and drawing on everything and anything. Yeah, including uh, the walls. Yeah, apparently I drew on the walls. And stickers, oh my gosh. I murdered things with stickers. Stickers everywhere. <laughs> All right, uh, next one from Allie. Um, okay, this is a question for both of you ladies. Caitlin, how did you convince your mother to be a digital artist? 
and how your mother reacted to that. Did she agree with your dream or it took some more convincing? I would say that you were very accepting right off the bat. Oh yeah. 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 I, I'm a traditional artist and I did take some classes. Actually, I bought the whole video um, set for uh, Photoshop mm -hmm. and I learned while raising the kids how to use Photoshop. So from the beginning, uh, I saw the connection with art on the computer. And when she um, showed an interest in that, I totally supported that. And I saw that that was the, the future. Um, I still like to get my hands dirty, but wow, I think it's so awesome that she can create all her work on a computer. Yeah, and, and honestly, like uh, Allie, to answer your question more, um, my parents were the ones to buy me my first tablet. I started out, my dad got me a little MacBook Pro, and then you and dad got me a uh, Wacom Intuos 3 oh, yeah. or 4, like a little touchpad one. It was like one of the smallest ones you could get, and that's where they started yeah. me drawing on that. What were you, like in 7th grade at that time? I think it was early high school. I think freshman year. No, maybe it was 7th grade. You're totally right, it was 7th grade, because like... I would take all my my Jade Dragon drawings and try to digitalize them. So yeah, and when you were in sixth grade, your teacher called you the Dragon Lady. Yeah, that's another fun. That would have been a good one for a childhood story too. But yeah, when I I think I talked about it in my Draw It Again uh, video from a while back. But yeah, there was a fifth a fifth grade teacher when I was in sixth grade. She called me the Dragon Lady because I would just sit out on the playground every day and draw dragons constantly. Oh, and do you remember that pair of jeans that I drew? Oh, that was painting? awesome. Yeah. So my mom, um, there was a just a pair of plain jeans, and back in the early two thousands, painted on jeans were like the thing. Like having painted on jeans or like embroidery, that was the thing to do. So yeah, painted on jeans was just like the in thing and all my friends had it. And I was like, mom, I want some cool dragon jeans. And I think you took one of my dragon art books and yeah. you like took a dragon from that and painted on my jeans. Yeah. Yeah. So the whole side <laughs> of the leg, like from the ankle up. I thought I, I thought I was the most badass kid on campus, to be honest. Like I thought it was cool. And so. I can't believe I didn't hold on to those. I think we still have pictures. If I can find a picture, I'll put it in the video, but I don't know if I can find it as quickly as I need to. But yeah, that was, those were a really cool pair of jeans. Yeah. All right, next up we have, uh, let's jump over to Twitter. So we have from uh, Tala Teal Tinted Twat. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite pizza topping? Oh, mine? Yeah. Oh, I love vegetables. Let's see. I would have to say onions. Onions on your pizza? Oh, I love onions. Yeah, I do too. Extra onions. Lots of onions. Um, and the next we have Lewis. Uh, did you always support Caitlin with her dreams? I know we touched on it, but... Totally, totally was there for her. Yeah, 100% all the way, every day. Uh, like, to the point that it was okay that I went and got a, an art degree in college. <laughs> so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we have a couple from Mark. So we'll start with the first one. Um, uh, is what... Or in what way is Caitlin like yourself, and in what way are you two very different people? Oh my gosh, we are both super stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> that is accurate. We're both very stubborn. And how are we totally different? Okay, so she is totally an extrovert, whereas I'm an introvert. I can force myself to be with people, and you wouldn't know that I wasn't an extrovert on first glance but I am totally an introvert. Yeah, I think I got the extrovert side from dad. But yeah, but he also is not totally an extrovert. And maybe I just inherited it from some distant yeah. relative of you're, extroverts. You're, you're just really, really strong too. Yeah. Like you just go for everything, put your whole heart into it where I am kind of reserved. Next from Mark is, you know how kids love to draw and you're always kind and say that you love the drawings they make. At what age did your daughter's drawings actually impress you? Oh, wow. From the beginning, I loved all her art. In fact, I love my son's. Kids have, are the best artists because they um, draw right from their heart and their imagination. And I mean, they have these, they draw these stick figures at the very beginning and they're so interesting. I, I love it all. Yeah. 
I agree. Like, I I was so proud of some of my old art, and I recently looked over it again, and I think it was pretty good for my age. <laughs> so can't complain about that. All right, guys, so I am all done with drawing my mom in nine different cartoon styles, and I hope you guys liked all the little Q&A that we did, but it is now time to reveal your different styles. So are you ready? Yes. All right, three, two, one. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, I love the Peppy Le Pew. Yeah, that was what hard. Was, what was her name? I don't remember the cat's name. But it was really hard because I'm like, well, oh. that's a cat and a skunk. So I didn't know which one to do. And, um, uh, not Snoopy, what is that? Um, underdog? Dog? Underdog. Yeah, that's the underdog one. I love the All underdog. Right. Can you guess which each style is from left to right? Like we could start top left and go down. Okay, um, that the top one is Betty Boop. Uh huh. Um, let's pass on the next one. Okay. <laughs> and well, Flintstones. Cl maybe. Close. No, no, this, this is Flintstones. Flintstones. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know the second one. The third one, I would say Scooby Doo. Yep. Okay, and then fourth one is um, Flintstones. Uh huh. Hmm. I don't know what that fifth one is. And then Underdog. And then um, Snoopy. Popeye. Popeye. Gosh. That's okay. Popeye. Um, Dexter. Yep. And then the Peppy Le Pew. Yeah. So there's just two. I'm so this one sure. is the Jetsons. Oh, the Jetsons. That's right. And then this one's Rugrats. Oh, yes. Yep. Cute, cute. So there yeah. you go. They're, they look amazing. I'm glad you like them. Oh, my gosh. So cute. Yeah. So I hope you guys like this video, and uh, wow. again, happy Mother's Day! And here's your thank you, wonderful little Mother's what Day an drawing. Amazing Mother's Day this is. Yeah, great. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Well, I hope you guys have an awesome and wonderful Mother's Day, and uh, thanks for checking out this video. And if you aren't already, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every week, and you know I'd love to hear what you guys think. Like, did I nail the styles? Is there some that I could improve on? I'd love to hear you guys' feedback, but. Thanks again, guys, for stopping by, and thanks for coming by, Mom. This oh, was, sure. was a fun little video to it, do. It was definitely fun. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Such a sweetie. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so thanks again, guys, for stopping by, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so what I was thinking for the intro is you could be behind my chair, and I'm going to be like, on today's episode, we have a special guest. Like, Sammy? Well, like, you're hidden, so, like... Oh, you'd hide behind me in my chair, so you wouldn't be visible on camera. <laughs> She's telling me what to do. Oh, 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 oh. Not the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'd be hidden um, behind the chair. Okay, and then hide right behind the chair. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be like, on uh, today's show we have a special guest, my mom, and you can pop out and be like, hello, and that will be like the start of the intro. I'll put my glasses there. Okay, you ready? Okay, sound working. All right. So on today's episode, we have a very special guest. My mom! Hello! <laughs> Where am I so supposed to We'll do it one more time. You look right there. Oh, it's cute. It's okay. Am I recording this? I am. Yep. You guys, I'm not good at this no, yet. No, it's okay. And then one, one.